So besides the, all the five star hotels, as you know, ITC is coming on. ITC is opening the first hotel outside of India. Okay. And they have chosen Kalambo to have right. the first hotel. Mm -hmm. So we are thank you to ITC. Good evening everybody. My name is Mukesh Jagga and I'm from Venue.Events. Today we are at the Sate Exposition uh, Center, Greater Noida. Uh, today my guest is Mr. Krishanta Fernando, who is the General Manager for Sri Lanka Convention Bureau. Good evening, sir. Hi, Bowen. Namaste. Namaste. As you take care of the Convention Bureau in Sri Lanka back home, what kind of facilities uh, exist over there, auditoriums, etc where we can a corporate can do a good event over there so besides the, all the five star hotels as you know itc is coming on itc is opening the first hotel outside of india okay. and they have chosen kalambo to have right. the first hotel mm -hmm. so we are thank you to itc and of course we have bmi ch which everyone knows yeah. it's been known for a long time uh, they can accommodate about 1500 1600 then we open up the lotus tower with a revolving restaurant uh, that can take the revolving restaurant can take up to about 500 people. The banquet facility is about 1,000 people uh, with the observation deck. Then we have down south towards Hamantur is about three hour drive from the BIA. That's a Bandana Kingston Airport, the main airport. It's about three hours drive down south. Beautiful drive uh, on the highway, and uh, and that can uh, take about another 1,500 to 1,600 people. So that's a good number of uh, people that Sri Lanka can take in at, at, at one destination yeah. uh, because generally the corporates would move in batches sure. and uh, two or three batches if the number of people is good so and the facilities as you said also are very good over there where it's top of the line as of today so that's a very good sign for us being very near to the uh, India and neighboring countries so it's good that and we appreciate your business, you know, we are, we are totally open and we are friendly, we are hospitable people, everything round up in one. And one of sir, the best part is that uh, the visa requirements are not there. Exactly. That really makes an individual to decide very quickly exactly. and last minute hiccups are not there that the visa yeah. has not come. It's on. a very easy process. It's a very easy Online. process. Online. Yeah. And yeah. off one goes. You have these different destinations where you can either do a mice, or the flavor of the town nowadays in the whole country of India or abroad is also, especially in India, is the destination wedding, which has really, for the last few decade or so, has really boomed up. So, can you throw any light on the different locations, what you have from the destination wedding's point of view, and what so, all can one do at those different locales, sure. which are exotic in nature? Exactly. So, right now, the the most preferred destination when you look at the total Indian uh, destination weddings, they love the beaches. Yeah. They so love Bintoda the beaches. is one of the key places. And on the coastal beltway from 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 I would say from Kalambo onwards all the way to Tangol, all the beautiful properties are there on the beach that they could have they could do a total buyout like we are having one in April, towards the end of April. It's a total buyout. Okay. Four day destination wedding. It's at Bentoda Beach Hotel. Uh, so like that, there's high-end high, high -end properties that you can do a total buyout and, and they have all their ships from India. So you don't have to worry about the... The cuisine food. we don't have to bother. Nothing to worry either. about. If you wish, this the, uh, the current one that's happening in April, they're they are flying their own ships. Okay, so you can do that, that part you also. You can do that too. So that's and, a good uh, thing. Yeah, and we are there to welcome you with open arms. Yeah, uh, it's good business. Tourism, as I say, brings in peace and also revenue. Exactly. So, we appreciate every business that you come to Sri Lanka. From the bottom of my heart, yes, uh, I feel that we should be more selling Sri Lanka as a destination. Again, you have got everything over there except the snow. Yes, we have got cooler temperatures, minus the snow. Yes. So and we don't go below minus, we don't go below. 4 degrees, that's the that's max, max, minimum low we get. As you are taking care of the mice, 
are there any incentives which come in if somebody is traveling as as a corporate group that they get when they bring in the group over there for a corporate event so is there any incentives which have been done by are being done yes we don't have one shoe fit all so you just write to us you, you can go on www.meetingshrilanka.com forward slash event support it outlines what we offer but you can write to us and tell us you know what you want sometimes some people want police escorts they want welcome dance cultural dance uh, they want to uplift the dinner by subsidizing somewhat of, so you can up, uplift the menu so whatever your preference you write to us with details only thing is we tell you is that you have to work with sri lanka tourism development authority uh, those who are authorized two operators only otherwise we cannot monitor the outcome of it and if there's any issues then we cannot interfere and get anything resolved you know apart from uh, colombo where all can one find the good real night life nigambo right now it has really upbeat and it's really picked up hikadua has always been all it's on the not that cold not that warm is beautiful weather all has uh, some good night life that uh, with sri lankan flavor too and from the shopping point of view i'm sure there would be all the kind of different uh, uh, brands yes all the big brands. cities we have in like colombo colombo always have all the branded items so is candy candy is a huge metro part in area metro part in costum part in city so one of the last questions because in the corporate uh, there is one thing which is very important is the transport part so the vehicles are all up to the standards of what they should be uh, would be my clarity for the viewers uh, tour operators for so vehicle. if you want a high end vehicle we have it like the mercs to jags right. jaguars to in that range if you want a tuk tuk we have that tuk tuk range too if you want a helicopters we have the helicopter range if you want uh, seaplanes we have that so whatever the transport facility you want we have it and so would be the attractions and other adventure activities also available exactly. and the adventure you look at one one place you can see the big five that's a sperm whale uh, the elephant the stock bear the leopard uh, and there's another one i know that i keep forgetting but all in action all in from action. one location with sri lanka because your within couple of hours you can go from one end to another end yeah. and you can discover sri lanka and the diversity compactness all in one okay thank you mr Chris, uh, fernando thank you so much uh, so you. nice of you to give me your view points you. uh, and uh, i'm sure that we will all try and bring in more people over there thank you so much and we appreciate your business